Welcome back. There has been a massacre of Muslim women and children in some villages near Jos, Fatu State, by armed men said to be Fulani headsmen. These killings have been going on for a while, and it is shocking that nothing has been done to curb or stop these killings. We are conversing against these ongoing massacre and pleading with the government to act and let peace be restored to the state. Now, to comment on this, you can call us on 70 You can tweet to us at WTVC underscore ENT with the hashtag your view. All right, ladies, you've been, this, this has been ongoing. May I give you the background to the story? Yes. There's been peace in Jos for many, many years. Many years, yeah. Until 2001 September. Once we, you know that, once we had the transition from military to civilian rule, lots of um, ethnic blemishes from different areas. Unfortunately, we don't know what the cause exactly is in, um, in Plato State. Some people think that it is religious because the north of Plato is predominantly Muslims while the south is Christians then some people think it's um, land interests. Mm -hmm. um, the um, Berom farmers and Fulani pastoralists. Berom. Berom farmers. Berom farmers and Fulani pastoralists um, clamoring for land, for farming and gazing. Mm -hmm. Some other people think that it is indigenous um, issues, that I'm an indigenous, you are a settler, you don't own the land. Yeah. And what we have had over the years, since 2001, 2002, 2008, 2010, is solving the symptoms, sending military, and they um, regulating peace. But if you don't go to the root cause of the issues, meaning that bringing all the warring parties together and having them sit together and dialogue, you're not going to have a lasting solution to the issues. So what we have seen occur now, is that they say Fulani headsmen, for whatever reasons, will go into farmlands, into markets, and just kill women, massacre. Now that's the issue now. Where is it women and children? Because they're the, one, the easy target. They're the easiest target. Mm. But now, we know the governments are aware of this, because it's not a new thing. Mm. But everybody is focused on Boko Haram. But the truth is that this Fulani headsmen has been going on continuously, they're even killing, simultaneously even as the killings in Boko Haram. True. Why, is, why does it seem as if the government is just focusing on Boko Haram and not them? Well, um, pardon me, but I have to blame some people. I have to blame the state governors of the of uh, Plateau State as well as Nasara, the neighboring state. Because I remember we covered the story on a newspaper review about um, how they crossed from Nasarawa State into the state and you know killed people in their farms. Now this report was on the news. It was, the governor needed not uh, have a, a special aide to uh, a special advisor, or whatever, to go and cover this news for him. But what actions do they usually take after they hear it? They always wait for the federal government. Now, mm -hmm. I know the federal government have not been helpful in the matter, but the state government, who is the governor, who is the immediate person that, that governs that, who is the immediate protector mm -hmm. um, and you know provider of security yes. for that in that yes. state? What did they do over the years? Hmm. Apart from you know saying, <coughs> I will call <coughs> Beno State. I think in, uh, in Beno State when it was happening, the governor said he was going to call a meeting. Mm -hmm. Even he himself was attacked. His, his convoy was attacked on one of such. Yeah. You know what security measure did you take? Something strong exactly. to you know to stop this. Now we're discussing it because we also want people to call be in aware. and share their views their and views. also be aware of what's going True. on. So when you're going to that area but you see it brings to mind because as I said we're just discussing this it brings to mind this this local policing that we've been talking about for a while yeah. state policing because the truth is that for that kind of thing it's only the indigents that know the history of this and they know who to go to how to protect, curb protect yes. the people but we still have people being um, brand, um, brought in from, from, outside. from various places and it's difficult for you to actually get to the roots of this problem. May I add to that? When was it um, <coughs> Obasanjo or Jonathan who sent in policemen into Jos during one of the clemishes? Because we have had several since civilian rule. Um, people, the villagers started saying that the policemen joined mm. the headsmen in killing people. We heard such allegations. So I totally agree with you that um, bringing policemen from outside of the state doesn't solve the problem. Okay, I have a call from Ifani Suli. Ifani, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. <coughs> Morning, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Just go ahead. So I'm always um, commending uh, Jimoke in whatever he is uh, saying in, in the program all the time. You see, uh, all 
this uh, Muslim people are the problem we have in this country. And I'm mm. watching this uh, lady, uh, lady the, the Muslim woman, to intervene or say something mm. that is uh, that is reasonable uh, as he was always, uh, he's always defending the APC all the time. I want her to say something about I wish they didn't is take it, him off. Is he, is he trying to he, I'm sure he's watching for the, the first time. And then he's wrong to assume that all the castle wrestlers in the, in the north are Muslims. Muslims. Whether the, the, the person practices a particular religion or not, it's wrong to even generalize like that. Mm. Mm. On this show, several times I've always come out to say whether when they do something wrong that is totally un Islamic, it should not be associated with the faith because I practice that faith and it is a religion of peace. So maybe you're watching for the first time, Mr. Fine, but you, what you've said is totally wrong and I disagree with you. Okay. <laughs> Can I okay. say something? <coughs> For me, um, like um, most of the issues for conflicts and killings are usually issues of um, land disputes. And for instance, somebody comes and they take my source of livelihood, like you know their lands, where they farm and all that, and they are unable to, you know, to to defend themselves. I think it is more of the absence of a good justice system mm. that would make people, you know move to this light of saying that they want to go and be killing mm. people. If this fool only hates men, or whoever is making this killing knows that if I walk up to the state government and I lay my grievance and I lay my complaint to say that these are the things that I'm going through yeah. and this, are, this is what I, I, I'm suffering yeah, from. They, they yeah. know that, okay, the government will take action yes. and justice will be meted, mm. you know, to wh whoever it is. Okay. I don't think these killings would happen. Would, would happen. Yeah. Let's take Abdul Malik from Yobe. Abdul Malik, are you there? Abdul Malik. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Go yeah. ahead, please. Sorry, you can't be right. Thanks for calling. Uh, Go ahead. <coughs> Hello? If you're calling from a long distance, wait. Oh, oh we I'm sorry, it. we lost that. Network mm. is pretty bad. Um, so you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So if they if they are able to say, okay, this and this and this are areas where you can go to for maybe local government, state government, okay. or even So pretty much the reason why we have yes. jungle justice, justice. Because um, this is, um, a sign um, of jungle issues, justice. rebellion, is because we don't have a proper government Wait. structure in place to ensure where people right. can take their grievances to. And I would go and, then, and I, would get, I would get a good uh, I mean, judgment. Okay. Before the colonialists came, we had our justice system. As in every community had its um, emir, its oba, its rural, rural um, we call them monarchs, um, traditional rulers who were the ones who resolved conflicts in mm. each community. Now, because we have adopted the government system of the colonialists, we are not even sure if we are practicing no. British or American oh. government style. Hold on. We have let the rural fathers, we have pushed them to just, uh, once, in a, once in four years when somebody is looking for election to come and, to mm. come and meet you. We don't so allow you, them to do their so traditional you, you somewhat roles. I agree with her, but is you're saying that we should actually also engage the local... We uh, need leaders. Them. Okay, let me take this call from Victoria. I will answer you. Victoria from Ijaya, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good morning, please go ahead. Good morning, and I want to thank you all for the nice job you are doing. Thank you. I just want to uh, not to complain, I mean, or it maybe it's an advice. Uh, that is to my dear sister that answered the first man that called. When you are dealing with public, you don't have to take it personal. Either they mention Muslim or Christian, let them say out, speak out what is in their mind. You don't need to be at the defensive because they're a Muslim and they said they are wrong. No, let them speak out. You know I mean, you are dealing with public, that is your work. You are here to settle things, not to argue with anybody. Please, my sister, you are not, I mean, to be on anybody's side. Forget about religion when it Thank comes to things like this. God bless you, man. Thank you, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right, no, so I was she going to she me. <laughs> oh, yeah, She's go. saying the traditional rulers. I don't think people have truly um, al um, left the... I think it is even the traditional rulers themselves. You that know, are causing the that are, Yes, I mean, for, I mean, if, if, if you... A civilization, whether we like it or not, would come. Do you understand? As a traditional ruler, what have they done? I don't believe it is the people that... If they come and they say, okay, yes, I, I am the one in charge of this place and this is the... The rules and regulation or whatever it is people would definitely come to them i don't think they have made themselves accessible well, what that you, way what you're forgetting is that they don't have the powers anymore Taylor. to break laws what is so whatever statement they make is no longer backed with authority God that's the you. problem at least i watch if, lagos state government let her finish she was really if down here in the south 
the uh, ballets have a, a bit of authority. Authority mm -hmm. is with uh, you know um, recognition. If mm -hmm. the community recognizes your 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 um, ballet ship over them, yes. now down uh, up north it seems it seems that no longer they are exists. They no. are not, no, you know, no, that's why I want to disagree with you. We have okay. land systems. Let me take this call from Larry first. Larry, are you there? Hello, good Ongba. morning. You yes, morning, please go ahead. Yeah. Please, um, I think my contribution towards this issue is that there is a lot of information going on in Nigeria that a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. For instance, when you look at our reports from journalists and whatever, there are a lot of people who have never even been to Kuala State, they report case in Kaduna, they report case in Maidipur and whatever, and they will not be able to give original situation to this case. I've grown up in the north. I understand these people, I understand the terrain in jobs and whatever. Purely, it has to do with traditional um, issue of claiming land or whatever. It has yes. nothing to do with even religion or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Some people claiming the original owners of the land. What they do is that when visitors visit, they give them the land, they shift backward. Mm -hmm. When another people come to it, now their, their children have got to educate whatever. They now realize that they are the original owner of those places. And they are trying to claim ownership that. How can we be owner of the land and we're now living far behind at the back of the city mm. while we, our fathers are the owners of this place? And that are the main issues that this world is. And you know, with the politics involved in Nigeria and whatever, there's a lot of crisis. Um, okay. Please, before I hang on, I want to employ all the you, the ladies, try as much as possible. We have problem of religion and whatever in Nigeria to at least minimize or manage people calling in Mm. to attack one person or the other. All right. Because, you know, we are human beings and we have emotions. True. Thank you. People might not be able to manage their emotions. I agree. Thank you and good morning. You know, you I, was, I wanted to say what... No, let me, let me reply to what Nima was saying. I don't saying. want you to reply because... Oh, I want no, to say because, tweet. listen, I watched listen. the news on, on, on Friday and I saw Sweet. that... Hold on. This Boko Haram thing that they, they were talking about in Lagos State, for instance, in Lagos, I didn't know that they had traditional rulers, northern traditional rulers all over Lagos. And they, they invited them to the Commission of Police in Lagos State, uh, uh, in, in Lagos here. And they had a meeting. And all of them, they have already said that within themselves, they will hold themselves accountable. The traditional rulers can make themselves available to the, to the laws okay. that we have That's already. I don't want to go there. I'm just hey, saying. Well, I don't right, said, listen, listen, hey, listen. It doesn't That's, matter. They're they, going beside this partnership. point. We're talking about women and children being massacred. I don't want to oh, go too much jokes. about uh -huh. too much into traditional rulers. But unfortunately, I can't take any more tweets. We have to, we have to rush away. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back with our actual Let's Talk. That's penalty for Treasury looters. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now, you guys have heard of the suggestion that looters of the nation's resources be sentenced to death. Um, well, this has been rejected by many governors, the reason being that the death penalty is too harsh. However, the Nigerian Labor Congress and the trade union are advocating for death penalty so to curb excesses in corrupt public uh, holders. So we ask your thoughts on this. Do you think they should be killed or do you think they should just be thrown in prison? Joining us to shed more light on this is a human rights activist and social commentator, Mr. Acheke Chude. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I'm How being, are you doing? I'm, 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 I'm being heralded like a star. Well, <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that. I'm quite fine. Thank you. Good, good yeah. to have you on the show. Yeah. All right. Now, um, you guys heard this last week was all over the papers. Yes, yes, the yes. The NLC was saying that. Does he agree? So let me, yeah, let's come with you. Do you, do you agree or do you disagree? <laughs> you have to look at it from uh, different uh, perspectives. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there is uh, the religious uh, angle to it and uh, the injunction uh, that uh, life is sacrosanct and uh, only God has a uh, right you know, over life. the lives of people mm -hmm. and so on. There is one. So you have people who belong to this tendency. I do. Uh, then you <laughs> and then you also uh, have uh, the human rights community generally mm. and uh, the trend and the direction of uh, human rights activism all over the world globally and so on. The fact that uh, capital uh, punishment 
uh, is being uh, eradicated. Uh, yeah, yeah, or yeah it, it, it's being discouraged, and in some places, being eradicated mm -hmm. in many countries of the world, especially European countries. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, uh, some of those countries, even in Latin America and the rest. Uh, and the uh, argument is that um, uh, if you look at it from what people have been saying, that ultimately death sentences do not actually deter you know, the crimes that are being perpetrated, does not deter perpetrators of the crime. They just look for other ways of mm. doing the same thing without being caught, being mm. more ingenious in you know, future commission of future crimes and so on. So you have that perspective. So. Uh, are they, let me yeah. come in, let me jump okay. in a bit. There's a perspective also that says that those countries adopted the death penalty mm. to get to where they are right now. Mm -hmm. Now they, are, they have some kind of sanity, they have some kind of a structure in place where maybe their citizens are smart and say, you know what, this is not going to stop me. But Nigeria is not there yet. Maybe we do need the death penalty to even get everybody to even stabilize, to get everybody knowing that, okay, this is how it's going to happen if I, if I, if I loot money that doesn't belong to me. Now, maybe 10, 15 years down the line, we realize that we're all now sane. Then we now come to the point where we want to now stop it. Well, the, ar argument. Well, the argument sounds, uh, it, it, it seems like a sound argument if you look at it from that perspective. But uh, the reality is that the societies you're talking about, some of them are also uh, have these death penalties. For instance, in uh, the United States, and when we talk about this country, essentially, we are talking about the United States and her Western allies. You still have uh, death penalties, uh, you know, penalty in states like Texas and so many other, you know, parts of uh, the United States. Mm -hmm. And then again, you find out that uh, we are being confronted because we can stretch this argument you have made now further mm. to talk about why it should take us about 200 years to get our democracy right. So don't forget forget about what is going on since America and the other, you know, other countries, yeah, Western countries, so it took so many years of True. development before they got to where they are. Mm. The reality is that we are being uh, you know, uh, presented with a fait accompli. Mm. We have seen the successes that some of these countries have made. They've had 200 years to get to where they mm. are. Mm. But we already have you know, an example template, of yes. a template good to work on. And so we don't need the 200 years uh -huh. for True. all of that, yes. Yeah, see, let me and then, but again, it's important that there's also a third, you know, side to this argument. The vast majority of Nigerians, and these are the people that matter. Yes. Because when you, for instance, you're opener, you said that um, a lot of the governors are against the death, death, uh, death penalty, you know, believing that uh, it is harsh. There's a general consensus and agreement by all Nigerians that treasury looters must face very severe uh, punishment. 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 But the good thing is that we must separate both constituencies. The constituency of the people in the vast, the vast majority of people who have suffered directly and indirectly mm. from the consequences yeah, of looting. Of looting. Exactly. They are angry. They are upset. Because, you see, you're not just talking about looting. You, let's even talk about the, the, the seriousness of the act of looting in this country, looting yes, of our public treasures. People will argue that it is these looters that have contributed indirectly to the deaths of over 12,000 Nigerians uh, through the Boko Haram agree. bombing. That's my position. You understand? Through the Boko Haram bombing. And a lot of our mothers, our sisters, our nieces, and so on, and relations have lost their lives mm. doing the basic thing of child delivery. Mm. You, you, you understand? Because yeah. when they had critical situations during childbirth, for instance, mm. there were no equipment. Like all the children you know, died now. If we were living in a country where we had this, this, fantastic medical system, yes. all the children have died. Exactly. These are some of the issues. And then road accidents. All of these things have contributed yeah. again to so uh, death on a Kennedy. So if you look at it, it is, it is grave. And so when the vast majority of Nigerians are saying death penal penalty, they are talking because they know that they have been affected one way or yeah, the other so look by at the, the, the of issue of, of looting. Yeah. Look at the gravity of aspect. Is it then not justified? Let me come to somebody else. Well, well, I, 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 want to ask, I want to, to, ask, death just ask, yeah, I want to ask a question because, you see, even this NLC safe, I don't really trust them because they have some kind of shady <laughs> things that, uh, you know. I, um, but in the event that they say, okay, this death penalty now stands, you know, what is what would be the um, the immediate effect that we we'll start to see? In, in, if the if we'll start dying, if we'll the no, if the government says <laughs> if the government says okay yes I am I'm proving this death penalty what kind of changes are we going to see? What and how sustainable would good, it be? And what kind of changes have, are we going to see or have we seen with the existing laws in the country? For instance, with regards to corruption and punishment of corrupt people, Not with me. regards to the issue of uh, the freedom of information bill and mm. so on, Not and me. that is where Nigerians also have to. Realize that it's not just about making these laws, but it's about making sure that the laws are fully implemented. That's right. And so I want when to disagree. Okay, Sorry. okay, I disagree right. with you okay. because we know for a fact that the laws that we had before 
were so soft and easy for a, a corrupt person to, you know, mm, manipulate. manipulate. So we had the police pension scam and the 250,000 naira fine uh, judgment that, you know, people were criticized. Was it 850,000 naira? Yes. Now we're we are advocating that those laws be amended and this, the punishment made, you know, more stiff and, and stern can, enough to deter Can, can I disagree person. with you again, too? Mm -hmm. um, uh, not too long ago, I think somebody was convicted for stealing about 8 million naira or so, I think, for one of the fast food restaurants. An mm. accountant there was jailed for over 200 years. Yes. Uh -huh. Same laws we are talking about. Uh -huh. You understand? You know, and, and governors have been you know, found guilty of corruption plea to the tune of billions of naira. Plea you understand? And they did their normal plea bargaining, which did not even follow the, the practice. As, as, as done in countries that started mm. the plea bargain, United yes. States and the rest, and they went home with nothing. Now, it's the same laws. It's under the same laws that somebody was jailed for over 200,000 naira, mm. uh, 200 years, by a judge who is also aware of what is going on in this country. Mm. And some other people who have stolen much more than that mm. have gone home free. So, you see, we must maintain that it's not... It, 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 yeah, that is the issue. You see, it's like the, the anti-corruption war, for instance, that's going on. Mm. I'm happy that the NLC did what they did. And you might not be too wrong when you say, look, you don't trust the NLC and the rest. They say he who, uh, uh, those who live in glass houses to, don't should not trust them. Them. NLC has not exactly covered itself in glory. True. But that does not mean that uh, even bad people do, are not capable of doing good. Occasionally, <laughs> once in a while. Do you understand? Yeah. So, um, and, and, and so we cannot say Buhari has a duty, has the duty to fight corruption. And so everybody will now go back and say, look, let, let us see whether he succeeds. Well, Judy, if he does you know, succeed, you we'll punish him. answered our question. You know, yes. Because just like you said, a lot of people have died. It's unfortunate that many of us may not know people that are so close to us, yeah. that have died as a consequence of yeah. the fact that monies are not being spent in the proper places and yeah. parasitical. Family members lost. Who's going to pay for the lives of those that have lost? Mariah. If the looters, if I, if I catch Mr. A, that he stole 5 billion naira that was supposed to be used for X amount of shouldn't he? Yeah, okay, fine. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> shouldn't it? Okay. Shouldn't it justify that she or he, that Mr. A okay. should face the penalty, the death Mariah. penalty, because that would give Mariah. the family the fortitude Mariah. to bear the loss but of their judge, own children. But they judge went yeah. to prison for, for two years. What was he up to two years? Two years. Now, in not agreeing with you, I will say that if you say death penalty. And a lot of countries in the world do not have this same penalty. Mm. A governor or government official can steal money and abscond. They are not going to repatriate such a person because they know what he'll be facing in this country if they are against death penalty. That's not correct. That's not correct. But, That's but not correct. if our laws are to say that, cut off their arms, for instance. <laughs> Wait, let me take Kola's call. Good morning, Kola. They, they can actually repatriate. Once it's our law, they, they can will, actually they send them, back. them yes. back. But let me call, let me call, let me take Kola's call. Kola, are you there? Yeah, hello. Good morning, please go ahead. Hello, um, I like your show very well. Thank you very much, Kola. Go ahead. I'm a first time caller. Yay. I'm um, right away. I like you guys very well. Um, as for Jumoke, um, if there's any problem, you can just go now. You don't need your, you don't need to be seeing your view every time. <laughs> yeah, I beg. It's not my fault. You know, as for hijab, every time they talk about Muslims, I always do it fucking. Because some of the Muslims are not in Boko Haram. If you don't get that's the main thing. Maybe they'll preach the Quran. Do you have a question? Yeah? Do you have a question? Then spend out the Quran. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it can be any. <laughs> oh my God, okay, so, so um, do you agree with me that maybe um, they should cut off their arms? For no, instance, no, no, death is, death is the it. easy way mm, out. Mm. You just die and you just go. Mm. And maybe no, you leave you all see, the money you see, to your family members. Tell member. that to no, 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 no. no, you leave the money to your family members. But if they say that you are in Sahara Desert farming for the next hundred years, or because prison, you know they can be in prison break, they can mm. run away, or somebody can abandon them. Let me hear you say, again. You say circumstances. Okay, sir, let me, let okay. me let you pause. I okay. want to take a commercial break, all right? Because I want you to think of this answer very well, because I'm about to get on you, but let us take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. 
Let's take some tweets. Let's involve our tweeters. Ogbeni Badru says, I support death penalty through unreligious, though unreligious, but for Nigerians, it's a good start. It can be softened over time. John Kanti Yoke says, I think life imprisonment will be okay because the civil service aid and uh, abating, uh, aid and abate corruption in this country, they're all not clean. <laughs> Samuel Stevens says, mm, penalty for looters, I don't think in Nigeria, it's old waters. But what I think should be done to such persons is to seize all their assets. Yeah. I went to this, he says, I really think those in power should be sworn in with jazz and African, <laughs> Af African sphere jazz than their religion. Let's try that first. <laughs> then Samuel Bola Stevens says, Jumi, just continue to do your thing. And, uh, <laughs> if your lawyer says, I think the law should be implemented. Good morning, love you all. Right, uh, right. Third text says the looters should face the penalty. They commit the offense. They should face any uh, anything uh, that comes with it. Then um, Mitchell says, when people start going to jail for life for corruption, things will change. This Lawyers and judges are also part of the the rot. Let me take a post to Adekule from Ota. Good morning, I'm my possible. staff. God bless you. Good God morning, bless sir. you, sir. Uh, please, you can both join hands together to formulate a principle standard law that will forbid and stop all this uh, wickedness in Nigeria. You see, uh, I would suggest a kind of a, a punishment that will be a lesson to others that is sending those people who are caught to life imprisonment and taking over all their properties. They should, they should be investigated. And when they are found guilty, according to law, they should be sent to life imprisonment and all their properties confiscated. Then they should be banned from taking any, any higher position okay. or political position in Nigeria all so right. as to stop them okay. from having access all to right. Nigeria. I mean, Thank what you so much. Do you agree with him? Yes. Do you agree with him? Can I also add a question? Yeah, okay. Because, you know, most of the times that these people loot money, they actually don't buy the properties in their name. They buy in their children's name, their spouse's name and all that. Something called <laughs> Or some girlfriends too yeah, that went to jail. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what, I mean, how would we, you know, be able to, if they say, okay, confiscate the, the property, how would they be able to do that? Sure and that's, find that now. Yeah, I, 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 I do not think that that is uh, so much of a problem. Uh, again, that's why they say they talk about forensic uh, experts okay. mm. uh, to do forensic examination. You see, the thing about it is that money has a trail. All monies have a trail. Yes. Yeah. So if they want to find out how, you know, a particular building was bought, they will find out. They know how. They are experts in it. You understand? You know, and then, you know, somebody was talking about, fine, between death penalty and so, you see, for as long as, you see, when somebody is caught stealing or somebody has looted the treasure and sentenced him to death and execute him, he will steal no more. Mm. Provided, again, that he has also given you details about where his the properties are. True. That's another thing because, you know, that's one. And then even if you jail him for 25 years, 30 years, you keep him out of circulation, mm. the money will be no, of no use to him. Mm. Once they know, you see, the, the issue is this, and that's why a lot of people are suspicious about not having the death penalty. The argument by some people is that for as long as you have a political class that is irresponsible mm. and so on, you might have a president that has the right body language. For instance, the, pre the president, president has the right body language, you know, and then... People who are corrupt are, 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 you know, are taken, prosecuted, and sentenced to maybe 25 years, 30 years, or life imprisonment. A, gov a president you know, and a political you know, a party that comes in that has a different body language yeah. mm -hmm. comes in and throws the bars open Pardon. to some of these people. Do not forget, and there's a practical example. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the coup that brought Buhari in, mm -hmm. he jailed people for 500 years. Babangida Alamisa came in and was threw pardoned. open the, the yeah. gates you know, for Let the same people again. Let me take this call from Kyodi. I don't want to lose this call. Kyodi, are you there? Let me yeah, see good that. Morning. Good morning, please go ahead. Um, I guess uh, for the other case, the total the should only be punished. Their beneficiaries should be punished as well. Because our society encourages people who steal yes. and they, you know, they celebrate them. So people they spend this money on should be equally punished. Mm. So that it will discourage other people. Hmm. 
Okay, yes. Innocent people to be punished. That was it. Yes, beneficiaries. I cannot. Children. I cannot. I, you I know, agree, agree with that. I mean, it is like, it is like, you know, <laughs> and when we have, when you have a draconian regime, yeah, no. maybe somebody has committed an offense. The ah. police go to or the SSS go to the person's house, they the and then they don't see the man. They carry the wife, carry they, the, the pregnant wife. They carry the mother. They carry every other person <laughs> in that place and so on, so that he becomes also a, bene, you know. Uh, they also become victims of their father's, yeah, you know, bad. crime and right. so on. The reality is that uh, they might suspect that perhaps this money that is coming in, you know, is not is not legitimate and so on. But there is no, they, they might not be able to do anything. Number one, yeah. there, of course, do not forget that a person cannot, a judge cannot, you know, supervise a case that involves his relation. Mm. Uh, you, do you understand? Yeah. And, and the mean, doctor if, is not advised to carry out an operation on, on a loved advanced, one. Advanced, yes, that you know that cannot advance money yes. to the looter. But those people who can have business associates and all that, mm. people who do businesses, those are the kind of beneficiaries. Yeah. You know, provided you know. they have to prove that there is knowledge. You see, there's something called, you know, an, being an accessory after the crime. Mm. You are the factor of the crime. So yes. once this person has taken money from a system, mm. and so you have a duty, you know, if you know, uh, to report, report you understand? Exactly. But, but, yeah, otherwise, you're an accessory. Okay, now, the, you know, is, is it not more expensive to actually throw these people in jail? 20, 25 years, who's going to feed them? Yeah, feed them. The, the, the building they're going to stay in, the security there, the electricity, the diesel, isn't it just easier to just kill them and let them we, just We, we, we have we about, I don't know how many you know, inmates we have in Nigeria, but perhaps it's in the tens of thousands, 54, hundreds of 54,000 yeah. and so on. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they, are also, they are being fed. You see, it is part of the duty and the responsibility that every government takes you know, upon itself. Mm. You need to build you know, prisons, More you prisons. need to have reformation systems have and so on and so forth. So it's, Okay, I don't lose this from Zaria. Nura, I believe. Yeah. Morning. Go ahead, please. Nura. Yeah, good morning. Morning. Uh, first, I want to say you guys are doing a very good job. Thank you. Um, my contribution is, I think when you say you're going to lock them up for life imprisonment, you wouldn't really achieve what you're trying to achieve. What I think should be implemented personally and would bring results is when you maybe cut the hand of somebody, Thank you. it becomes like an identity. <laughs> and anyone that sees you knows hey. you are a thief. And hey. I think that will go a long way in curtailing all these issues. God bless because you. you have can, an I, can I ask you? Okay, let, me, let me come to Ua. Nora, when they cut off people's hands in sh for sh Sharia courts in the north, they end up in Lagos and they are, they are now uh, beggars. beggars. And we are pitting them and giving them money. The, the, the thing is, Ua. can I say something? May I also respond and say that if you make a mistake uh. and think that an innocent man is guilty and then you sentence him to death, what happens? Oh, so before, cut before, his no, before, so say, cut his hand? No. He's still alive. No, 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 that is not What is bad is bad. It's even... It's even as it is right now, it's even before they would f eventually land into that de death sentence. All investigation, the forensic thing he was saying about would have been those are the concluded. You don't know. No, they would have concluded. Know. Have concluded no. it. It, 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 it depends on whether the government is serious. If the <laughs> government is serious, you know, definitely there is no amount of money that is stolen. And again, do not forget that somehow the dynamics that have played out in the international arena have mm. conspired for good, you know, to make states now much more serious when it comes to the issue of laundering of funds mm -hmm. because of the fear that if you allow it, laundered money, whether mm -hmm. by politicians or whichever mm -hmm. group can end up in the hands of but terrorists. It, so countries are working, mm -hmm. you know, in concert, hand in hand. Let's hand take, hand let's to, take some yes. more tweets. But I'm just thinking, someone like maybe, for example, who was, who, who was caught? Maybe like a I have a now, question. Right? Yes. He had cut his hand mm -hmm. yes. just, just in case that was a crime. Yes. He's, he can't become a beggar. Because you still have some bless so the identity is clear. Ah, now eh? you know that's that Elsie, eh, 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 but you have any hands anymore. It's in, not better than, Moraya, you cannot become a beggar. In yes. Nigeria, we've seen, uh, you know, uh, unrepentant looters like this, who are shameless. Who would come to your wedding with they're without all, they're, 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 spray you? They are all shameless. <laughs> spray you without yes, they're, they're, they're all so, shameless. So my fear, my fear yeah. is that when you talk about life sentences, mm. we run the risk of another government because it's a four-year term coming and pardon them. But but and pardon again, them, but totally again, but again, you see, it goes to the heart of what I was trying to say when mm. we were talking about not allowing, 
any president also to be the symbol of the fight against corruption. Exactly. And I said it must start from the Us. people. It is ownership. the people because we must take ownership. Okay. And it's not beyond that, you must take ownership of the country mm -hmm. and of governance. Yes. Once you are able to do that, the politicians will have a fear of the people yes. at any particular point in time. You yes. see, the, 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 the leaders we have in some of these Western countries that we are talking about, it is not as if uh, they, they, they are not prone to doing things that are yeah. unlawful and so on. But it is the fear the of the people. Society will not Let's allow them. Let's round up with a few okay, tweets. So yes. I, I have a few tweets. Um, our aperture says, ladies, I support life imprisonment for looters so that they will be alive and face the penalty and others will be scared too. Oham says, for me, there should be a death penalty so the youth will have a chance for this country. Ola says, I think death is still the best penalty for those looters because if they see their fellow people dead, Let's they will stop. Sanusi Ahmed says, it's simple. Um, since we can't um, give life, um, don't uh, don't take life imprisonment or cut off their hands. Give them a mark for us to see. Boko Haram has been killing now. <laughs> <laughs> Nii Bello says, confiscate all assets, 10 years pr prison term without parole, banned from public office for 25 years. So it's my own tax that will start paying for Punish the collaborators. Prison. Punish collaborators. Then Imam Lawa yeah, says, to do that, everything yeah. while keep our arms crossed. That change we are clamoring for begins with you and I. All right, that's True. all we can take. Well, thank you so much, sir, for coming. We appreciate it's you pleasure, being here. Always, yeah. Don't forget, we're still doing our road to size 10. Please try to eat healthy, go to the gym, do something, because we have to hit size 10 by December. Okay. All right? Don't forget to watch your repeat broadcast later on tonight. And you can catch us on YouTube, slash TV Entertainment, and search for your view. You can also watch us on Google Plus at TV Entertainment. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.